starting off this paranormal look, I'm going in with the NYX Angel Veil and using this to prime my skin and just give a really smooth base. Then I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean and I'm just taking this and tracing out along my eye sockets to give that really sunken in look to my eyes. And I'm also taking this pencil and going up above my eyebrows to cover those in as well. Then I'm just going in and filling in that area that I just carved out and just making sure that all of my skin is really covered with this black bean pencil. And just repeating the same process on the other eye and also really making sure to cover up those eyebrows. Then I'm going in with a NYX Makeup Wipe and I'm just taking this and kind of messing up the Jumbo Eye Pencil that I just placed down and making the edges a little bit more jagged and messy. Then I'm going back in with that Black Bean Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm just taking this and extending a couple of lines up above my eyebrows. Then I'm going in with the NYX Primal Eyeshadow in the color black and I'm just using this to set all of that cream product in place and just patting it all along my eyelids and also underneath my eyes as well. Then going back in with that black bean pencil, I'm just taking this and carving out the tip of my nose and also filling it in as well and dragging a couple of random lines up from the tip of my nose. Then going in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, I am just taking this to fill in the rest of my face wherever I didn't place that black bean shade down. And I'm just doing this in small sections at a time, filling in a little bit, and then going in with a flat brush and just blending everything out. And I am just continuing this process all along my jawline and also the rest of my face as well, filling in small sections. And then I am just going in and blending it out with that brush. Then I'm just going in and dragging that milk pencil along my neck as well and completely filling it in. And then also taking the pencil and filling in the upper part of my shoulders as well. And then going back in with that flat brush and just blending it all out. Then I'm going in with this NYX Macaroon Lipstick in the color Coconut and I'm just applying that to my lips to blend them in and make them super white. Then to set that all in place, I'm using this NYX HD Finishing Powder and just setting all of that cream product in place and to help it make it look even more white. Then I'm going in with this NYX Matte Gray Eyeshadow and I'm just using this to start shading in this look and just placing it into the hollows of my cheeks and also placing it along my jawline to start giving that really dead hollowed look to my face. And also shading a little bit between my eyes as well. Then to continue shading, I'm going in with this matte taupe shade on a smaller detailed brush and I'm just taking this and placing a little bit of random lines all throughout my forehead and also dragging them along my cheeks. And I'm also taking that color and blending out along my eyes as well, along those lines that I placed down earlier just to add a little bit more depth. Then I'm going in with this NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just taking this to start drawing all these random little lines around my face. It just makes the look super creepy and detailed so this little brush is perfect to make all these lines around my face. I'm just placing them all the way around both of my eyes, kind of drawing them out in like a shape like a branch or maybe like little veins coming out from all over my face just in random directions. So the key is just to keep them really thin and spaced apart and it will help give that really super creepy dead look to your face. Then I'm taking this NYX Vamped Up Lip Crayon and I'm just taking this and placing it on the direct inner part of my lips to just make them look really dead and black in the middle of them. And once I build up that black intensity on the center middle part of my lips, I'm just going back in with that matte liquid eyeliner and I'm just taking this and extending the line of my lip line out to make it really thin and long looking and extending that out on both sides. And then I'm just going in and repeating the same process I did around both of my eyes on my lips and just filling in all these little cracks and lines around my lips. Then going back in with that matte gray shade, I'm just taking this to shade in around my jawline a little bit more and the lines I just placed down and also dragging this down onto my neck and onto my shoulders to just add a lot of depth and definition to my neck and shoulders as well. 
Now moving on to my hair, I'm going in with this Redken hairspray and I'm just using this to make my hair a little bit sticky and tease it up and make it really messy looking. And then I'm going in with this NYX HD loose finishing powder and just sprinkling it all throughout my hair to just make it look really white and creepy and give it kind of a ghostly dead look to my hair to make it blend in with the rest of my makeup. So now, going back to my eyes, I'm taking this gel eyeliner and filling in both of my water lines. And I also popped in one white contact. I had two, but one of them ripped right before I was filming this. So we're just going to go ahead and rock the one creepy contact. Then I'm going in with the NYX Badunkadunk Mascara. And I'm just applying a couple of coats of that to my lashes. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going in with this NYX Lip Shine Cream in the color Absolute Red. And I'm just taking this and popping it onto the centers of my eyelids. And this is to give the appearance that my eyes kind of look like demon eyes. And these are the pupils of my eyes when my lids are closed. Then to finish off this look, I'm going back in with the NYX Primal Eyeshadow in the color Black. And I am just dragging that all along my arms and my upper shoulders to just give that kind of crawled right out of the grave look to my skin then that is it that is my completed paranormal look i really hope you guys enjoyed this challenge and if you want to see me compete in the next round and make it into the top 12 you guys can go to nixfaceawards.com and vote for me starting today june 26th through july 3rd you can vote three times a day per email address and i will make sure to have all that information on voting listed in the description box below your guys' support would mean the absolute world to me. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.